This is a really funny and interesting fucking clip. This is courtesy of the account on Twitter, Over and Under, one of my favourite accounts to follow for all your streetwear, sneakers and fashion and cultural news. It features one of the owners of Hellstar basically saying that they were able to trade some, I guess, maybe unreleased Hellstar, maybe some others, just stock in general, for the Virgil Abloh designed Mercedes Maybach. Yes, you heard that right. Some idiot... Some kid, some kid had the Virgil design Maybach, the one that's like, you know, um, half brown and half black. Yeah, I'm sure most of you guys have seen it. They swapped the Maybach that Virgil designed for some stock of Hellstar. I can't think of, again, I love, I like Hellstar. It's a cool brand. I kind of see Hellstar as like the US version of Cortese in terms of their like, you know, um, in terms of the love they get from the fans and, you know, how they're kind of moving and shit. I kind of see a lot of parallels between them. I actually would like to see a collab between the two of them. I think that would be fucking sick. But I don't think Hellstar makes good enough clothes to ever warrant this type of swap because I don't even think someone would do this for Balenciaga, let alone fucking Hellstar. So it's kind of wild to see where they are as a brand because this signifies, you know, the value that some, you know, how people value them. They place them in the same category as like, you know, a prestigious brand like Maybach and fucking Mercedes is fucking wild. But this is a funny, interesting clip. And again, I, I'd love to know who the kid is, probably a kid that's probably got more money than, you know, they know what to do with. Uh, maybe they've got a couple of these in the, in, m maybe they have another one dead stock at home that they don't want to open up, but this is a crazy video. You want to know how we, I got this too? How? I traded Hailstar t-shirts for it. Really? <laughs> yeah, we traded Hailstar for it, bro. The nigga oh. had to have a lot of money. He did, oh but you God. can resell Hailstar, so I don't, I'm not trying to go resell it. I just, just sell it as it is. So I'm like, look, it's hard for me to get a Virgil. I'd rather just trade him the clothes because he going to make profit. Because I just traded him the amount of the clothes worth the Virgil. So he can go resell it and now he can make profit. So the, if the car is what? What what did the car retail for? Let me see. Let me see. How much did it retail for? Let's see. Uh, let's write this in because I'm fucking curious to see this. Virgil, Abloh, Maybach. Maybe I'm going to say 100 grand. Or maybe it's 200 grand. Let's see how much it was retailing for. It retailed for allegedly 729996 720k. How much Hellstar could you get for 720k? That's nearly a million. That must be like, that's a lot of Hellstar for, for, for a car. Fucking hell, bro. And not any car, right? A Virgil designed a Mercedes Maybach S680. Allegedly, it's 150 made. Allegedly. I don't think there is. I think there's probably more. But still, fucking hell. Can you even buy them secondhand? I wonder, can you buy them secondhand or are they all gone? But yeah, and I'm cool. like, I'm gonna just take the Virgil because I can't cool. get it no, way, no other just way. Just trade it your brand. That's how we got all of our cars, bro. My my little brother got a, another Maybach. Juice got a G-Wagon. Was that the other Maybach that yeah. was over there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we saw the, uh, the Juice, one with the B. That's yeah, cool. and Juice got a G-Wagon with the Hellstar rims on it. I oh seen that, you on the blue? Yeah, yeah, the baby blue, the baby blue one, or, the baby blue one. Yeah, man, it's crazy, bro. Inspiration, It's crazy, bro. I could do it, bro, I'm telling you. No, I'm telling you, shit. you could do it, bro. I was working at Starbucks three years ago, bro. Damn. Working at Starbucks, just dog. three years, making ago. frappuccino. That's pretty cool, though, as a as a come up story. Working in Starbucks three years ago, and then having a brand that's so valuable, someone's willing to trade a limited edition Virgil Abloh designed Mercedes Maybach for your garments. That's fucking wild, especially when you think about the abundance of streetwear brands. Because nowadays, I feel like it's probably harder than ever to make it as a streetwear brand because there's so many micro brands that exist out there that are doing really well. So for you to kind of make a stink, for you to make some noise online to get people to actually buy your shit, it's, it takes a lot because there's so many smaller micro brands on Instagram only, brands that are local, right? That are doing fucking bits. So for you to kind of get out there and do it, especially competing while with the big dogs, like the Stussies and the Supremes of this world, while still trying to make your own shit is difficult. So the fact that they've done that says a lot about them, but god almighty i could not imagine ever doing that ever in my entire life but let's actually see this virgil um what's it called virgil abloh mercedes maybach right because i don't know I'm, I'm just trying to think like what what would possess somebody to exchange a car like this for some hellstar t-shirts and hellstar again good brand don't get me wrong but they don't even make, they don't even have that much of an as expansive, sh you know, range that you would want to buy. Like, they don't even make, you know, it's just, it's mostly t-shirts and sweats. 
they don't really have that much stuff, you know, like or, like in terms of different type of clothing to buy. They have t-shirts and sweats, long sleeve, but it's not like they have jackets. It's not like they have like great bags and stuff. It's just, you know, the stuff that you see loads of LA guys wearing on podcasts, you know? Like, you know, some cool stuff, some cool screen printed design. The graphic design stuff they do is absolutely incredible. It's all sold out, as you can see here on the website, but it's just t-shirts and sweats. There's no like necklaces. There's no cool accessories, no jewelry. It's just basic. Like, you know, the gloves are, I guess, pretty okay, but I don't know. Like, this brand must be doing bits on the streets to have this type of grip. They don't even have like leather jackets, bombers, nothing, just t shirts and sweats. And my man swapped all of this shit. Right, the stuff that you see there on the screen. Let's see the Instagram actually. Let's see if they got any new stuff on Instagram we haven't seen. Maybe a lookbook or something that might give you an idea on what they're about. Because again, like as much as I love Hellstar, like the brand isn't even that, you know, that much of an extensive range to even warrant swapping it for a car that looks like this. Like, why would you do that? Look at this fucking Maybach. It's so beautiful. Two tone in that almost must that, that kind of cream brown color with the black on it like it looks fucking beautiful really does look beautiful what is the virgil abloh maybach let's see actually for courtesy of what's it called mercedes benz little on virgil abloh was best known as the founder of high-end brand off-white as well as the artistic director of louis vuitton menswear collection before his unfortunate death for cancer in 2021 r.i.p to the go abloh collaborated with merge with mercedes again who was doing this isn't it like he did a lot during his time in it on earth man you, you have to give Virgil the ratings, bro. While he was alive, he did so fucking much. Ikea, Mercedes, like, fuck, you know, the collabs. No one does this at this level. The only one I can think of who was doing collaborations at this type of level, random ones all over the get place, was another one of my goats, another one of my heroes, Hiroshi Fujiwara. Like, he's the only person who was really, you know, putting that fragment, you know, those fragment bolts, those double fragment bolts on, like, crazy shit. But Virgil did some bits on here. So it says... The Virgil collaborated with Mercedes-Benz chief designer um, on Project Maybach. The partnership included two unique Maybach vehicles, a massive solar-powered roadster designed for luxury off-roading, which I hope comes out. It's, it will featured in that Drake video. Hope they do bring that out one time. Um, and a reimagined S6880. The roadster remains under show car status, but the Virgil Abloh Maybach 680 will be available to purchase this April. Celebs have already lined up to buy one, um, one of which is only 150 are made. Let's take a closer look at the car. It looks fucking gorgeous, doesn't it? It looks really good. Look at the rims. Brown interior. So luxurious. It's got Virgil Abloh's name written as well on the insignia. Inside the color scheme remains fully, what's it said? It remains fully cream colored with seats, glossy black accents. The black seat belts are a nice touch though. Um, how much will it be? Um, according to Supercar Blondie, the project cost of the collaboration is double what the standard, yeah, so the standard um, S680 is 230k, and of course, Abloh's one was 700 plus, so to swap this for some Hellstar shit is crazy, bro, crazy fucking work, again, it, it, it's probably the kid of some oil baron or something, right, who probably got more money than they know what to do with, they're like, you know what, fuck it, I love this brand, so let's go, but I couldn't ever imagine doing so. Like, that's just a wild thing to do, bro. But again, you know, if you've got the money to do it, why not? But the brand Hellstar is decent enough, like I said, but I don't think it's decent enough to warrant swapping a car for it. Like, again, it's just sweats, you know? There's some lookbook pictures we got here on the screen to show you, actually, while going for what they do. It looks good, don't get me wrong. But, you know, when I, when I see Hellstar, I just think of AD. You know, I think of all those guys in LA, right? I think of all those gangbangers who had to wear like sweats and t-shirts and shit. That's what I think of. It's it's pretty it's pretty decent enough, but nice pants. Like, they they look they look well cut though. The quality of them looks really good. The sweatpants and shit, right? I do like the fact that they don't have elasticated cuffs as well. It's just a raw edge at the bottom. Screen print design to make them look cool. And yeah, look, oh, look at people complaining in the in the comments already about the prices. Um, yeah, $275 for a crew neck is no joke. Ended up being 500 CAD after taxes. I guess it's Canadian dollars. Duties and shipping. Like, I'm going to keep my money. I love this brand, but this is shit. It's not worth it. I always wondered, why do brands go out of their way to charge so much for sweats when they don't need to? I get the money is good, but wouldn't you want just repeat customers? Like, I'd much rather, like, if I ever started a brand, which I was considering doing for a long time, especially when it comes to basics and stuff, right? Like sweatshirts and whatever. 
I would I just want to sell like a set for a hundred dollars or something, right? Maybe sell a set for a hundred dollars and give that as an owner to probably some people to buy it, and then maybe sell the separate, more expensive. Maybe have the sweatshirt be sixty, the pants be seventy if you want to buy them separately, but together it's hundred dollars. Cool, but you could get away with basically selling that hundred dollars and still having people come back, even one fifty. But do you need to really sell a sweatshirt for two hundred seventy five dollars? A sweatshirt with some basic you know screen printing or vinyl printing on here like it's not it, it doesn't make any sense it's just unnecessarily expensive i get you're gonna get a lot more money back because the cost the, the you know the cost of these bits is probably five dollars if that so you're probably making an crazy amount um, you know markup on this but you don't need to do that you could just sell it at a fair price still make some money and then have people come back you know because this doesn't look $275, $1,000 worth, you know what I mean? Not in the slightest. But yeah, the kids swapped this for fucking a Mercedes car. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. It goes to show the people that have, have got money, you know, they just are bored, <laughs> really. And if you make a brand that touches people, you know, you could get to a level where people are like, yeah, I want to, you know, I think your brand is as good or as fucking well regarded as fucking stuff like Mercedes. So fair play fair fucking play but me personally i don't get it it's decent enough even to be fair i take it back i think cortese do a much better job cortese have much better stuff than this to be fair the cortese stuff is much better way more way more of a range i don't think they actually have anything available to buy at the store now because it's always closed but cortese have way but yeah it's okay it's closed now at the moment but they have way better stuff than them than fucking hellstar it's actually a really good range. They have down jackets, duffel bag, underwear bits and shit. Like actual stuff that you would reek. Like if, if someone said they swapped, you know, a bunch of Cortez for a Range Rover SV or something, right? I would believe that. That would make a lot more sense. Oh, it's private account. Okay, cool. It doesn't matter. I'm not going to bother checking it. But um, let's actually, I think they've actually got a Twitter account as well, don't they? Um, let's see. Cortez, CRT. Cortez run the world. I think they've got a Twitter account where they also post some stuff. So maybe I'll show you what their stuff looks like. But I don't know. There's never going to be a, a, a time in my life where I could ever picture that, to be completely honest. Let's see here. They're, they're, they've got a Twitter account where they post some clothes. But I think Cortez actually is better. Like, as much as I say they're similar, maybe in the operation and how they do stuff, like, you know, guerrilla marketing is kind of done all in house, you know, independent brand, blah, blah, blah. Hellstar which is great. Maybe, I don't know if it is, maybe, is it independent? Maybe they've got some investment, I'm not too sure. But either way, it's cool, but it's pretty one-dimensional, isn't it? It's just sweatshirts. The graphic design is what the strongest thing about Hellstar. They've got really good graphic designers. The graphics are fucking incredibly good, to be fair. Graphic design is really fucking good, but the items themselves are kind of basic. At least with Cortez, you get sub, sub, you get some substance with Cortez. You get quite a lot of substance here. I'll show you when it kind of fucking decides to load up on my screen. Bidi 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 boom. So if you scroll down here on the Cortez Twitter account, Cortez Run the World RTW, you'll see quite a lot of good stuff on here. Actually, some cargo, some good little shit and stuff, right? So the full collection was there. They did recently a nice kind of mystery archive, lot of thing, getting rid of loads of old stock. I like how they do that as well, by the way. Um, nice little money bag thing with the, the shoe there. Let's scroll down. Yeah, there's some good stuff. Like Cortez do some good shit. Like, let's not lie. The stuff is really fucking good. You can see there like hats and stuff, sweatshirts. Like the stuff is really good. Especially some of these fucking the trousers and the cargos. I really like because I'm not really a fan of crotch screen printing. Even when Billionaire Boys Club did that back in the day or Bape and stuff, I never was a fan of that. But I think it works really well with Cortez. They've got the Alcatraz logo here, screen pins on the crotch. It looks fucking really good. And the cut of the cargos is pretty well done as well. I love the label on them. It looks fucking awesome in different colors, camos and the other colors as well. It looks fucking hard. I'm not going to lie. Nice trucker hats as well. Decent shape. Nice vest as well. Good quality on nose. And look at the jackets. Look at all the jackets. Nice paneling on the jackets. Um, zip ties on the side here to cinch them in. Nice little down jackets and shit. Like Cortez is actually way more. I would understand if somebody legitimately swapped a Range Rover Sport for some archive Cortez or like a whole collection worth. That would make a lot more sense to me than Hellstar because Hellstar is just sweatshirts and t-shirts. At least with Cortez, they have all this sick shit. Like, you can't deny it. It looks fucking awesome. 
really good. Good shorts as well. So, but anyway, big up Hellside regardless. Even though I don't really rate the brand too tough, I feel like the journey. I'd actually see, love to see an interview with a guy actually to go from working at Starbucks to then suddenly, you know, selling this amazing brand where someone's going to be willing to swap a Mercedes for it. You know, you're probably doing something right. So I'd actually I'd like to hear what he has to say about certain things and see his come up and what it was about. But yeah, big up Hellstar, big up over and under for that bit of information as well very much appreciated very much appreciated 